What are you doing? Wishing I could see you outside. We picked up some windows for our doors. They're made by AP Products, Thin Shade. So they've got, it's a tinted window with a shade. We're gonna basically have to cut a hole in the door and pop them on, and they should just screw together. So these should just, basically we just gotta cut a hole, put them in, screw them together, and that should be it. Probably put a little silicone at the top too. Um, they've got a seal in them, but just for kinda a little extra protection against water leakage. Um, I've seen them on other people's campers. They're actually on sale right now on Amazon uh, for $65 versus $100, so it's it's a pretty good price. It makes the camper look a lot nicer. Our doors are very, very plain. So it adds to the look quite a bit, makes it look a lot nicer, plus it actually allows us to look out the door as we're trying to open the door. So if there's anything out there, anybody out there, somebody knocks, we can kind of see who it is before we open the door. So let's get started. So opening up the box. It's got foam. And then your window. And it comes with an instruction sheet but not an instruction sheet to add it without the windows to replace an existing window. There's also no template, nothing. It's almost like these companies are relying on people to do YouTube videos because they don't put any instructions with anything. But, we'll be able to use the window as a template. So you can see it's got a seal, and it's actually kind of sticky. That's gonna squish once it's clamped onto the door. Um, but I still wanna add a little silicone to the top once it's on. And this is the other side of the frame. And it also comes with the window shade that clamps in. Okay, I got the window traced out. I just put the window on there, traced, you know, got my measurements, made sure it was center, traced around it with a Sharpie. And now we're gonna drill holes in the corner to start and start cutting. For bit, or for saw blades, not bits, but for saw blades, I got a laminate and I got metal. I wasn't sure which one to really use. Uh, I figured laminate might be good because you cut through fiberglass and plastic on the other side. Thought that might work well. Worst comes to worst, if it doesn't, I've got the metal. The metal should go right through the fiberglass without a problem. It's a nice fine tooth, so it shouldn't chip it or anything like that. So we got it cut out. It's all cut out. I did last minute decide to put some tape around the edge here. Not to protect from chipping kind of like you usually would, but protect from the saw from scraping as it goes along. And it was kind of a good thing I did because looking at the other piece, you can see how it scratched it. I've got an older jigsaw. It's kind of been beaten up a lot and all that kind of stuff, but it's just, I've noticed when I cut with it, it scratches stuff. So I put the tape down just to protect the door from scratching. So now I'm gonna take the tape off, kind of get it cleaned up, see if the window fits. So, <laughs> the glass just kind of almost fell off and hit the ground. So I would suggest putting this on sideways, not hanging it like this. But the window shade anyways, actually just clamps on. Hold on. So there's tabs on the inside of the window here. And these pieces just kind of stick into there. Same thing with the top. And then you just sandwich it together, put it together, put some screws in it. Good to go. The window is in. It's got a shade built in that pulls pulls up and down. And everything seems to be okay. So one big tip for this, 
don't let the glass hang there because it's just stuck on with a little bit of like this sticky sealant stuff. So like mine almost fell and hit, it would have hit concrete, it would have shattered, the window would have been done. Um, so when you go to put the window on, put the door on the ground sideways standing up and then kind of clamshell the two pieces together. Um, it'll probably save you a lot of mess in a while. Either that or maybe you could put a sawhorse kind of, or two sawhorses right under it to hold it up just in case. Yeah, I don't know, but just, I would do the door sideways. So the windows are on, as you can see, all set. They're a nice tinted window. You can't see in that well. They also do have a shade as well. The only issue is, and really, I don't know why I didn't think of this. I didn't think of it until I like closed the door and went inside. The screen kind of covers the window. So to pull the shade down, you have to crack the door at least. And realistically, it's still even harder to do. And then, you can't even get it that way. So you pretty much have to go outside to pull the shade down and then close the door again. But like I said, I really like having a window there. You know, if somebody's at the door, you go to leave, something like that, you can kind of see out there, see if there's any bears. Um, just, it, it's nice to have there, I think. And the outside of the camper looks a hundred times better by having those windows on there. That whole side of the camper is very plain. There's really nothing there. I've got like, you know, a couple windows for the bunks, the little window for the kitchen, and that's it. You know, and then you have the two doors and the doors are just, plain Jane fiberglass, nothing on them. So it does help with the look of the camper. I can see out, add a little more light. So anyways, if you like this video, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that kind of stuff. And we will, we will see you next time.